Hello, this is Robert Smith. I'm here in Holland or the Netherlands in a local park and there's a lot of bluebells behind me. And so I thought I'd answer a, um, a question that someone had asked about how to deal, basically how to deal with the rejection from your own daughter. Later on goes on to say, my 20 year old daughter is often away from home and does not contact me for hours or days. And so when I ask her why, she says, I don't feel like coming home. This feeling of loneliness and rejection is leading me to depression and hate of myself. <clears throat> so one of the things that, um, um, one of the things that always happen is that as changes do occur, and oftentimes we get our value from uh, raising your children or a husband or a wife and, and all of a sudden changes occur. It could be a divorce, it could be uh, uh, death, or they could just grow up. And it's very, very normal for children to grow up and want to leave and sprout their wings and um, learn to do things on their own. And of course, you're the mother and you've all of your life you've, you've raised them, you changed their diapers, you help them go to school with their homework and lots of other things and so um, the problem that I see with the the email is one is that you're depressing yourself two is that you begin to hate yourself so obviously uh, learning how to release and let go of the past, release and let go of what is occurring now, and adjust quickly. Now, of course, as we learn to adjust quickly, our lives really start to change. Those who don't adjust quickly will, one, will depress themselves and learn to take it out on themselves and hate themselves. And, of course, if your daughter decides that she doesn't want to, to be around the house and they, she wants to grow up and move on, that's normal. That is absolutely normal. Um, the real problem I see in the question is that uh, you're taking it out on yourself. You're blaming yourself. And um, so what, one thing I always suggest, learn to love yourself and be nice to yourself. Uh, accept the changes. I mean, this is something that's been going on forever. And that is children grow up and they move on. Changes do happen. And you just got to realize that's just, that's just how it works. Um, so what I suggest doing is definitely sit down and look at yourself. Notice what you're doing within yourself about the events. You know, it's, it's very normal and you'll, you've known it as well in your life. Um, your children will grow up and they will date or marry someone. They probably end up marrying someone just like what you didn't want. Um, you know, you could have a daughter or a son who will date a person and they just don't like you. They don't like the family, you're bad, there's something wrong with you, or they just don't like you. And so they take uh, your child, your husband, I mean your daughter or your son, and they'll move off. And of course, if you beat yourself up and blame yourself because of whatever, you know, whatever your guilts are, whatever your angers are, whatever your shames are, and um, that's just a part of life, it's unfortunately. So the deal is, how do you deal with it? First of all, you tap it out. You tap on your emotions, tap on the rejections, tap on the guilt, tap on the anger, tap on your ability to make yourself feel bad. Because I'm telling you, it does no good for anybody. Now, if you clear out and let go of your part, that means you're angry, you're sad, you're rejected, you're abandoned, you're lonely, whatever it is, you tap it, tap it out and accept how things are. You don't have to like it, just say, well, you know, that's just how it is. There's, it's beyond my control. Now, when you let go of trying to control it, let go of the anger, the hurts, and the whatever else is attached to this, one, you'll start to feel better. Two, you will, one, become more attractive to whoever it is. I mean, just say, well, mom's changed. She's a lot different than what she used to be. Now, of course, you know, as well as anyone else, most of our problems come from where we came from. That means home. So, um, you know, of course, you know, when I'm working with clients, one of the biggest emotional reactions, not the biggest, but one of the biggest, is saying you're just like your mother, your father. You act just like them. And of course, you get a big no, I don't want to be like them. But in reality, 
What you don't want is already in you. And what you don't want, you become like without even trying to be like. Because all the emotional programming that is inside you, the emotional programming are the memories, the emotions and the sensations. So I suggest this, first of all, clean up the past relationships that you've had, like with your mother, your father, your, your child, your angers, your guilt, anything else in and around what's going on, you know. And then just let go. To say, you know what, I, I'll have to just do the best I can, um, you know, send cards or visit occasionally, tap on your emotional issues around it, and then just, just be happy. And of course, eventually everything will pan out if you continue to let it go, but if you choose to be depressed, if you choose to hate yourself, it makes it worse. So what I'm suggesting is clean it up, clear it out, create your own life within yourself, within your own world, create your friendships, make peace with your past, make peace with everything that's disruptive. And as you do that, life will be nothing but a field of bluebells all around you. So learn to love you, be nice to you, and keep on tapping on you. This is Robert Smith here in the Netherlands in a wonderful park with all kinds of birds and greens and flowers and have a good day. Ciao.